Welcome back Flutter Diffs. So recently I saw this video about glass morphism design by a guy called Mile Witches. He's a great designer, I recommend to you check him out. He's uh, publishing videos about Figma. Uh, so it's a cool design and I want to recreate this design using Flutter with some more features. Um, so I'm not going to cover everything because it's really going to take a while. So first and simply we're going to make a gradient background using linear gradient. And spheres. Uh, spheres is quite challenging for me since I never made uh, spheres using Flutter. But to be honest it's quite easy because in just a rounded container with a linear gradient. And it will be a nice sphere. So then I made the gradient in the background simply using shadows with a very high blur radius value and just position them in a stack. Then I made the container just as the gridded card and rounded the borders a bit. Uh, to make it look like a glass, uh, first it needs to be a white transparent and then it needs to be blurry because, I mean, this is how glasses behave. And adding a thin white border will make it more like a shiny glass. Then I divided the master card or just whatever card you want and added textures in the upper side and aligned them properly and then for the bottom side as well. Uh, then I added some instances of my uh, spur into the side to make it look like a bank logo or whatever and added a sphere in foreground and two more in background. So it looks all right. Um, let's make them attractive. To make it attractive, I wiped the uh, credit card the mouse region. Then I stored the mouse region data into an offset variable. Uh, actually, I uh, stored the delta position. Then, using a matrix floor, they can now rotate around x and y axis, uh, which kind of cool, right? So anyway, I applied mouse delta position into spurs as well to make it look like a more 3D and then I randomized the movement so the spurs uh, moving slower looks like they are farther and the one moves uh, faster looks like they are near the camera and it will add depth into the scene. Then I just uh, changed the gradient colors to make it more colorful. I added button to rotate the credit card in 180 degree uh, to look at the back of it. Um, and to make it more look uh, like real, I just blurred the upper text and removed the bottom text. So it will be like you are looking at the back of the credit card. And I think it's amazing. And thanks for watching.